How are y'all doing? I'm trying to tilt my face away so you don't get as much glare off of my lenses. <sighs> We do have an intro song. We do have an intro song tonight. Yes, we do. Let's get to that. It's time to go live. 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 Time to go live. It's time to go live. Thank you, as always, Summer Savage, for the delightful intro song. I love that it's different every time. It makes me really happy. Um, it snowed for four days straight. I haven't left the house in days. And, uh, and today it was 45 degrees. So nothing makes sense anymore. But, you know, what are you going to do, right? I don't understand any of this weather. Um, the person who has the cabin across the road from us, he, um, he had been, for a while there, at the beginning of winter, had been texting us every weekend. Hey, what's the snow condition up there? What's it look like up there? Hey, is there snow? Hey, is there snow? Hey, is there snow? So I sent him a photo of our side yard. And I said, um, the snow you ordered has been delivered. You want to come and get this? Because I don't want it. The Guyons on this guy. He says, I didn't order snow. I ordered the lake frozen. Snow. No, I didn't order that. I said, well, you better come up here and return it then. I don't want it. We don't want it. Come get it. Send it back. He's like, damn, Amazon. I said, well, the good news is they have a good return policy. So, you know, get on that. Stupid snow. <sighs> I will be leaving the house tomorrow. I'll be running some errands. Um, yeah, it's been about a week since I've left the house because I think my doctor appointment was last Friday, wasn't it? Sounds about right. Um, so, yeah, I really need to, uh, I need to get out of the house. I'll be doing that tomorrow. I'll be hanging out with the neighbors. We're going to watch some movies. It'll be good. Let's say hi to some people. We can say hello to the inappropriate heifer. Hola, sweet pea. Good to see ya. By the way, we have to figure out how we're going to, yeah, yeah, she has a story to share with us. It's almost as good. As a matter of fact, she, I think it might be funnier than the story about the severed finger. She gives us some great stories. That's all I'm going to say about that. But we got to figure out how we're going to make that happen because we got to get her to share that story in here. Hello, Susan P. Hello, Brian Lucas. Miss Sunrise Dawn is here for just a minute before she goes to bed. But she got him out. Janet G. is here. Hello, Janet G. And Ms. Deanna Downey. Hello. Summer Savage, our queen of intro songs. I have got him out, too. But, of course, she's got a one-up. It's got a, got a really next level. Psych sauced. Hi, you were just looking at the time? Yeah. I was a little bit late. I was watching something else in a different tab. So it ended just in time. Mark Hardman is here. Hello, Mark Hardman. Hello, Mary. 
Hello, Care for JC and Pamela SP Butterfly. No more snow is falling as of right now, Mark Hardman, thankfully, and I am grateful for it. Jazzy Girl Sarah is here. Susan P., Joanne Rice, Gemini Girl, hello. Gemini Girl 6579 there today. I'm assuming you mean degrees. I might be a little bit envious. You stop this right now. Just go on ahead and bite your tongue. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to think about it. I said no. The not so graceful swan is saying hello to the dirty dirties. Brian Lucas has lost an argument with Phil, of course. Morning Cricket says, hey, Carrie Ann, it's Minnesota in late March. Of course there is snow. I don't miss that. Yeah, I don't miss the uh, snowstorms in May either. Not necessarily happy about it. Ew, Hef, I'm sorry to hear that. I had to people today and have to people tomorrow as well. My peopling tomorrow is going to be kept to a minimum and it's going to be my neighbors. So I'm not mad about that. Howdy, hey, says Deirdre Nikolai. Good to see you. Kimberly Gabaldon is here. We love that. You might be able to do it in chunks here, says Hef. Okay. It's Summer Savage's fault. All right. It was the dog you sent me kind of day, Mary. Absolutely. Yay, Gemini girl caught alive. And so did Sandy Wandy. Hi, Sandy Wandy. Hola. Tambra June. Hello. Hello, y'all. How are my nighttime friends? My dad had surgery and is recovering in the hospital. Hopefully it's only for a couple of days. It's been a tough couple of days for us all, huh? Girl, you ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. It has been annoying. Annoying and insubordinate and churlish. Donnie scattered late but made it. Evening all. Not late. Nope. You got here precisely when you were supposed to. Bridget Alexander using that dirties little emoji that we have because now we have memberships open and it's amazing and I'm stunned. Gretchen only. Hey, 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 lady. Good to see you. I need to email you. Hey, Jow. Hey, Jet. Hello, Purple Groovy. Hooray, you're here. Susie Oberholtz has one more radiation. Oh, lady, I am so happy to hear that. That's amazing because it certainly has taken out out of you. But you keep on going, don't you? Absolutely amazing. Good on you. Kelly B69 is here. Hey, family. What is peopling? It's it's going out where all the people are and interacting with the them. All of them. Oh, mom has just sent me a text message. Let us... Reply to that text message. Very nice. Very nice. What else do we have? Who else is here? Ah, my other's keeper will be talk will be on Mary's channel. Saturday at 6 30 p.m. Central Time. 6 30 p.m. Central Time is 7 30 p.m. Eastern Time, sweetheart. Talking about bipolar and mental health. Yeah, we need to nail down which time zone because, um, yeah, it's 
six thirty central is seven thirty eastern. Denver Steve always just popping in a few before he crashes. Hello, hello, good to see you. And Casillas is on Chipmunk Speed. And Hummingbird, you can say that again. Yeah, no shit, right? Here's Jazzy Girl Sarah. She's getting them out. Yeah. Oh, Seventh Son. Hello and ahoy to you. It is time. We are going to Zenu Marlene and we are going to Zenu Marlene to Susie Overholtz's one more radiation session left. Yes, we are. So we're going to start it off with the traditional first Xenu Marlene of the night. Xenu Marlene. Everybody partake. No ice tonight. Wine. Sip first. Sip first, please, so the melatonin doesn't stick. I actually almost tossed that melatonin right down my throat where it threatened to lodge in there sideways. That's really frustrating. Anyway, cheers to you, Susie Overholtz, and one more day of radiation. Seventh Son Steve-O is here and hummingbird is here i know i just mentioned you wolf machine is here good to see ya rosa lang rosa lang is here excellent hanger sacto is here tonight excellent good to see everybody my goodness kelly b69 you have to people tomorrow too ew Okay, that's kind of cool. You peopled tonight at an experimental jazz show in your neighborhood. I mean, if you have to people, that's a pretty good way to do it. All right, now it says my connection was lost, and then it said I'm reconnecting. What happened, and am I frozen? Sorry, let that breath out, please. Stop holding. I had to people today to get cigarettes. My caregiver watched me stumble over my words and tell them the kind I used to smoke as I internally freaked out. Okay. That kind of day. Woof. Or a little bit more easily fit into the meter. I want to be where the people aren't. Those two little letters make such a huge difference. Gots to hold it in. Gots to hold in the good smoke. Okay. Yep. Care for JC. You're feeling glum over all the drama. I hear you. You're not alone there. Not so graceful. Swan is using the Xenu Marlene. Emojis. Had a long conversation with Gizmo earlier about not hiding so much because he needs meds twice a day. He responded by letting me pet him for a minute and then going under the bed. Nice. I don't know what my mom's beating on, but I feel like I have to stomp back. And now she's laughing. Good. 8.30 p.m. Eastern, that I know for sure. All these time zones get me confused, you said. Okay, so my other's keeper, that's going to be at...
time zones get me confused. Mental health is such important discussion. My grandmother suffered from bipolar. It is important. If it's happening at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, it'll happen at 7.30 p.m. Central. We're only one hour apart. I have to be out people Monday to Friday now for five hours a day, but it is lovely. I'm enjoying it so much, except being up at 6.30 a.m. every day to work by 8 a.m. But glad I get to see y'all live the next three days. Hell yeah! And we're happy you're here. That is a strange snack. Absolutely it is. Chocolate chip cookie, a bit of orange, and Gatorade. I'm not sure how I feel about that combination. But as long as you like it, rock on. Lori Driscoll, hello. Good to see you. We hope that you can stay up for a while too. Yes, what, what Summer says here. Uh, Denver Stevo, we do appreciate your outrage on Liz's behalf earlier. Yes, we do. Yes, we do indeed. Christie's Boutique, hi. Oh, it wasn't Seventh's Outrage and Hummingbird. It was Denver Stevo. Not frozen. I'm fine. I'm good. Excellent. Good to see it. It's the annoyance of having to put on a bra two days in a row and pants. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. Ooh. I partook of a Klondike bar and Fritos. Not my usual late night fare. That sounds like a delightful combination. Yeah, not not your not your outrage, the seventh son Stevo, Denver Stevo's outrage. We now have two Stevos in the chat. And so I will make sure to uh, differentiate between the two of you. Hello, sour faced girl. Very nice. Good to see you. Wouldn't it be nice if animals could just talk for a moment so they can understand that we're trying to help them, not hurt them? And yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I just realized that I took my night meds with my first Xenomarlene of the night. Well, that's dumb. Had chocolate ice cream with Kahlua and chocolate syrup tonight. Ooh. That sounds pretty good. Hi, Mrs. Cricket's, Mrs. Cricket's mom. I'll let her know. Hello to Kim White. Ooh. They are howling outside a pack of them. There is also an owl on my roof hooting. Fire in the fireplace, eating Cadbury mini eggs. Right there. That's the life. That is absolutely the life. Sour-faced girl is Jen Marie. Okay. Nice. Yet another name that I did not recognize, but yeah. Now I know who you are. Went to the special place for Spanish coffee tonight for the third child's 21st birthday. Feeling ever older. Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it well. Peach yogurt and waffles for dinner earlier. Ooh, waffles. I like waffles. I haven't had waffles in quite some time. There's a great video on YouTube about waffles. Yeah. I'm hoisting one for you, Denver Stevo. What did I have for dinner? I had... Um, Culver's has a pot roast sandwich thinger. And I had that with extra gravy. Um, 
And then a little bit later, I made a turkey and cheese sandwich. I made me sandwiches, sandwiches. I knew that I would eat all of these sandwiches. I, I guess I was on sandwich detail. I guess I was. Ooh, here we go. Cruise question. I love it, Mark Hardman. You bring the good stuff, man, every time. This seems trivial. Mm -mm. But what would be the best specification for sunscreen? I'm bald, pale, and pasty. Don't want to get fried by the second day. That's very smart. That's very smart. And if you're as pasty as you think you are, then you might get fried by the first day. So, personally, for me, I use like baby sunblock. I use sunblock that is, you know, no less than an SPF 70, but is usually SPF 100, if I can find it. I buy the spray on stuff because it's just easier for me to apply it to myself. Um, and I don't have to sidle up to strangers asking them if they would please put sunscreen on my back because that feels just a little too intimate for me. Um, and you want to see if, one of the brands that I tend to recommend is Sunbomb because it is... Uh, it's reef safe. They comply with all of the rules that Hawaii voted into law there um, to protect their reefs and whatnot. So it is lacking the ingredients that would cause it to be damaging to those reefs. I like sunburn, sun bum, sun bum. This broadcast is not sponsored by or brought to you by Sunbomb. But it could be. Sunbomb, call me. Um, yeah, and I also recommend reapplying every two hours, if not 90 minutes. <coughs> Basically half my suitcase is sunblock whenever I go on a cruise. Um, but I, I recommend reapplying every two hours. Tops. If it's consistent exposure, every 90 minutes. Ah, okay. Steve-O was Steve Molesky's nickname for Seventh Son. Love that he changed his name. That's that's delightful. And I do, I do appreciate that. You took yours as well, Tamber June? Yep. No, no, you don't have to take night meds yet, Lori Driscoll. I know that I'm behind. So I hope that you didn't eat them five minutes ago when you said that. Um, Cause I still have to sing the night meds song. I just haven't sung it yet. Cadbury mini eggs are the best. Guess I miss, must have missed the person raging. Gretchen only, it was Denver Stevo, and it was in his on his own channel. That's what he did. Um, he was mad about it, and I don't blame him. Made it. Hi to ho, everyone. Hope you are well. If not, I'm sending you all peace and smiles and love. Heather McLaughlin, you're the sweetest. Thank you. And now Pamela wants butterfly. Sour-faced girl. Ah. I'm reclaiming a name I was called in my TTI records. That's beautiful. Hugs and waves. Hello, sunshine. Waffle, waffle. Waffle, waffle, waffle. How very mini eggs are they like the regular Cadbury egg only mini? No, they're like. They're like a cross between a chocolate football 
and a Malteser. They're they're chocolatey inside, but there's a little something to the maybe it's like they maybe if they put arrow inside of a small egg shaped candy and then gave it a crunchy shell. I don't know, but they're delicious. They're delicious. They taste a little bit malty. Um, and I love them a lot. Not now how, oh, now, yeah, no, they're delicious. They're delicious, but they're not like the big old Cadbury eggs with, with all the stuff. Yes. Bring over shirts and a hat for sure. Um, I have a, a white bucket hat that says wear sunscreen, bitch. Cause that's how I feel about it. Um, but I also have a large, ha uh, a large floppy hat that looks like, uh, it makes me look like Bella Abzug, honestly, if I'm, if I'm being really straight up with y'all. Um, but you know, either way, yeah, bring over shirts. Rash guards are a thing. They're a long sleeved shirt that have built in SPF. Um, but you can swim in them and all kinds of stuff. You can find them on Amazon in all sorts of cool designs and colors and stuff. I got a couple when I was in the Virgin Islands two years ago. And I take them with me every time I go now. So yeah, they're, they're handy little creatures to have. You want to make sure that you've got sleeves available, that you have a hat available. Um, because you're going to be sweating. You're going to be sweating. So, um, and that'll help the sunscreen slide right off of your hot old head. So, put sunscreen on your head. Yes. But bring a hat as well. It's, it's really for the best. And if you can pick up a couple of rash guards on the way. And now my mom is incessantly texting me. Let's see what Mrs. Cricket's mom has to say. Now that she's not pounding out code on the wall. Went to Sam's first to pick up my glasses, then to Culver's. The odd thing is I almost ordered you fries with cheese sauce along with a sandwich, but you had not mentioned it, so I stopped talking. I practically blurted it out, reading your mind but didn't know it. Interesting. Yeah. Cause when she got home, she brought me the sandwich from Culver's and, uh, then she saw the text asking if they had eaten already or if they were on their way home or what. Um, so she, uh, she said, did you, did you want something else? And I said, well, want, yes. Should have no allowed on the diet. No. Um, she said, well, what did you want? And I said, I wanted fries with cheese sauce. And so now she's reading my mind and I'm going to tell her the internet says, hi, Mrs. Crickets, mom. Oh, I was hitting the ceiling because I heard the running starting over by that end of the bedroom ceiling. Thought I could scare them out. We have some manner of rodent in the walls. Um, and they're usually in the wall next to my bedroom. But apparently they were in the ceiling above hers. So, <sighs> you like my rings, Jazzy Girl Sarah. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I have my, my little tentacle ring and then I have two different spinny rings. Mom says, hi back. Sweet dreams to all. This ring, I don't know if you can see, but it has little moons and stars cut out in it and it's spinny and it goes along with my other spinny wing so I can spin my little rings 
and they make me happy. And the other ring is just the one that I've been wearing that says keep fucking going on it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my life right now. Hi y'all. Hello, Ms. Kelly, Ms. SPTV never ends. I'm going to be going on her. Oh crap. You have to put away your ham and hummingbird. Go put away your ham. You don't want to leave that out. Ham is valuable. We love the hams. Nice song reference. Thank you. Seventh says 50 SPF. Sunshines says a hat. Psych sauce to Mrs. Culver's. Ooh, ooh, Anne, I don't use the Neutrogena. If I can't get Sunbum, I use like Banana Boat or something, but I do not use Neutrogena because they actually have ingredients in their, in some of their sunblocks that can actually contribute to skin cancer as opposed to helping prevent it. So I stay the hell away from uh, Neutrogena sunblocks. Yes, a hat. It's terrible to try to sleep with the sunburn. I agree. Wolf Machine, you pre-tanned before Mexico? I don't ever pre-tan. I, I am fish belly white all the time. And I'm perfectly happy to stay that way. So I can actually spend a week in Cancun and come back the same kind of fish belly white that I was when I left. I make friends with the pool concierge and they keep moving the umbrella by my lounger every time the sun moves. And I'm like, ew, it's getting all over me. Sour Face Girl became a member. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You guys, I'm losing it over this memberships thing. It makes me so happy. God Morgan, Maya. Yes, put the lotion on the skin. Do this whenever you're told. It puts the tinfoil on its head. Do you know if you get a sunburn, they say that Benadryl is very helpful and it does work. Benadryl is good for histamine reactions. So um, any kind of a skin reaction, it can be helpful. Helpful. The problem is, is that Benadryl will also very likely knock you on your ass. Um, it's uh, it's a really, really good, good uh, thing for people who are insomniacs. Greeting, Smoke. Good to see you. Welcome back. Wow, I'm really behind. Holy crap in a basket. Working on getting a hat that doesn't make me look like a dork. Thank you, everyone, for your suggestions. Like I said, Mark, mine makes me look like Bella Abzug. So, yeah, I don't really care. I am a dork, so I may as well look like one. Artsy Tartsy is back in her alter ego. Lori Driscoll, I was overdue by three hours or so doing the BID thing. Okay, all right, I hear you. I hear you. That makes sense. Jesus, I got to catch up. Do, do, do. What are we raging about now? Tonight? Not really a whole lot. Not really a whole lot. I'm uh, I'm pretty chill tonight. Um, somebody in my sphere performed some actions earlier that felt a little hurtful to me. But other than that, I'm just kind of trying to catch up with the day, you know, and trying to keep myself in a really good frame of mind. So um, today, not so much with the raging. I was a good girl. I've already taken my night meds and attempted to sing the song, but you do it a lot better. Well, thank you so much, Mary. And I'm glad that you were singing the song too. I'm I'm kind of pleased with myself that I've 
chosen a, a, a really good earworm for people. It's called UPF, but yes, there are many things. And blankets, wraps as well. Yep. Yep. Pareos, sarongs, all kinds of stuff. Universal protection factor. Yep. Today I was walking around singing the Night Meds song. My son-in-law asked me if I needed something. That's funny. Hello, everyone, and good morning. Well, good morning to you. And I don't know if I'm using that R correctly. I don't know if you roll it in Swedish, but I'm trying. Artsy Tartsy put out a rage video against Hutchison and didn't hold back. You were not as nice as Kelly Copter. Okay, well, she was very diplomatic, although she also went pretty hard. Do, 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 do. Ooh, you're going to have prime rib, Mary. That sounds delightful. Yep, dorky it is then. Can't sleep. Mom's having surgery at 9.30 a.m. And, and girl, I... Lady, I wish you strength. Mom's talking about a video that I showed her earlier. After I get caught up, I will I will share it with you. Um, can't sleep. Mom's having surgery. I am. Yeah, I just wish you strength. You are already brave. You are already strong. And you're going to get through this. And you know that we're here. If you need us. You can drop me an email at any time. If, as soon as I wake up, I'll answer it. We got you. Mini eggs are the best. Yes, they are delicious. Hey, hey, my peeps. There's our Jen. We love it. Bucket hats are great or wide-brimmed straw hats can be good too. Yep. Nice. You don't even have to cook it. That's beautiful. I have all my C's Easter candy ready. I've been eating it for two weeks every single day. Won't stop till done. Very nice. Good job. I admire your dedication, Ann Casillas. And if you don't live near the equator, remember that you will be closer to the sun and much more prone to burn. That is true. The sun in the Caribbean is much stronger than it is anywhere else. You're going to be, you're going to be needing it. Okay. And now Hef is doing the story. So I'm going to star them as I see them so I can still try to get caught up. Hey, everyone, never got the notification and lost track of time working. Of course, you're working on something, Jen. How we know you're working on something is because you're typing in all caps. Okay, I'm going to star that one. Thank you for letting me know, Summer, that I'm a million years behind. I am so lucky to still have a mom. My mom is a blast. She is absolutely ridiculous, and we love her. Donnie Scattered, your interwebs are doing you wrong. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I do have a mom that speaks to me. Sometimes she's a massive pain in the ass, but she also knows that she's sometimes a massive pain in the ass. And sometimes I'm a massive pain in the ass. So it all balances out. Either way, we laugh a lot here. And that's really the point. If it is a rodent in the walls, it is a pack rat. They are funny creatures. Speak not to me of pack rats. Could be squirrels. It could indeed. It could indeed be squirrels. Denver Stevo gifted 10 memberships. Thank you. Holy shit snacks. That's amazing. Hello, Ballet Klutz. Daniel Sander is in here. Sneaky. Barb is in here. Stephanie East. Duffsta. Hi, Pally. And Meredith Lynn. Look at all these new members. You guys. Give the loves to Denver Stevo. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Let's hoist one up to Denver Stevo again.
Thank you, Denver Stevo. That's amazing. Zenu Marlene, y'all. Fish Belly White, she is one lucky bitch. You know, I am, but also I stay this way on purpose because melanoma ain't cute, number one. Um, and number two, I, I, I have enough pain as it is. Sunburns, they're not my jam. I don't need to add insult to injury. So I just scamper around in the shade and the shadows stay awake at night and all of that. Howdy, are you still snowed in? No, we are not. It has finally stopped snowing. And thanks to my um, delightful neighbors, they came over and finished plowing the driveway, replowed the driveway, did a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, and so we were able to open the garage and could get the car out finally and drive places. And so my folks went and did that today. Cricket, did you get my email about the YT channel about octopus research? I did. And I'm going to be checking that out because that sounds amazing and right up my asphalt driveway. You know, it's frustrating. I burn and then you would think I would tan afterwards. Nope. Just go back to no tan. That is my life. Yep. Fish belly white lobster after it's been boiled right back to fish belly white. It's not a good time. Seventh. So Ms. Cricket, do you have a regular schedule that you are live? Pretty much same bug time, same bug channel. Every night at about 1 a.m. Central is when I tend to go live. It might be give or take a couple minutes here and there, but that's that's generally when it is, nightly. Children's Benadryl, I took an hour ago. You're not kidding. I'm nodding off. Yeah, Benadryl, diphenhydramine is not anything to fuck with. It is no joke. Okay, getting caught up. I'm getting caught up. Do, 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 do. Oh, Rick Spicer. Hello, y'all. I wish to pay my bet to, debt to society with comedy. So does that ring say, keep fucking going? Have a comma. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I try not to mix the two, honestly. Good. No raging. This week completely activated my fight flight response and it's mostly just fight. Yeah. Well, I hear that. And you are not the only one. We have been, uh, we've been holding space for people between, you know, last night, tonight, earlier in the week i mean we've been we've been holding space for people because it's it's been really agitating duchess diana is up again and we are here yes we are susie was pretty rough too on hutchison i got some really hilarious uh emails uh messages on facebook one from uh Ms. Char Michael, who straight up said, are, are you, is, is anybody really seriously trying to tell me that Stephanie Hutchison isn't Mark Headley in a wig? And I hadn't really looked at it before. And then I did. And I'm like, God damn it. Yep. Seventh is still here, I think. Yes. After I committed murder, I forgot to put honey baked ham in the fridge. This seems to be my new sleeping schedule, Duchess Diana says. How is everyone tonight or this morning, as the case may be? We're getting by. I don't think it is a mouse or a rat in our walls. I think it is squirrels because it sounds too big to be the mice that Jake catches on the regular. It sounds way bigger than that. 
Um, but yeah, I think it's squirrels. We don't get much in the way of rats out here. Um, we get little tea tiny mice that are adorable with great big eyes and little white tummies and they're so cute. Um, but it sounds way bigger than that. It sounds like it might be squirrels or ground squirrels, but I'm thinking actual squirrels. I love you. You know me so well. I'll show you in a minute what it is. Fantastic, Jen. I look forward to it. Aren't we all sometimes a massive pain in the ass? Well, I mean, I think we really are, aren't we? Oh, shit. Ham made from scratch, all gratin potatoes and baked beans for Easter by myself. Well, I'm sure my pupper will think she needs some too. Deanna Downey, I'll be right over. That sounds amazing. Sounds absolutely amazing. Cruise is a life investment that will pass too quick. Suggesting a hat says here to get laid. Don't waste time. Tommy be proud. <laughs> connection. Tommy is going to be proud because there is going to be a lot of connection going on. And I'm so excited for it. I'm so excited for the melding of the lifeboat community and the SPTV community. And we're all going to be going and having a good time. We're going to have a prom. We're going to have a party. We're going to have a bunch of parties. We're going to walk around in the islands. We're going to lie on the beach and eat nachos. Like, whatever. We're just going to, it's going to be a good time. And I love that I get the privilege to make this happen for everybody. I really do. I I love it. I I'm glad that when I finally said, screw it. I'm taking the initiative and I'm just going to block some space that people were like, fuck yeah, let's go. And started booking because it's, it's been mind blowing for me and really rewarding. And I, um, speaking of people being a pain in the ass that has happened too, but you know what? Worth it. Totally worth it. So yeah. But Am I ready to sign up again for next year? Yes. It's a tricky balance of sunlight needed for vitamin D and sunblock prevents that. Yeah, but I take vitamin D every morning, so I'm not sweating it. I am interested in your dear visitors. Do you have a pic of them that you can share? You know, I do actually, because I took some photos of these goofy kids. This is when it had been snowing for a while. I think this was day three worth of snow at this point, and the snow is almost up to their little tummies. And there's the yard. And you can see over here, that's the trough that we usually put corn in for them. But instead, we had to put it out in the driveway in little piles. And that's that's the kids. They're very silly. They are very silly, and we love them. We love having them around. Do Cadbury mini eggs count as night meds? Yes. Yes, they do. Anyone know how Liz is doing? I know that people have heard from her today, but I have not personally, so I don't know. She's, she's getting through. And Hummingbird is completely freaked out. All right, we'll have, I've got them all starred and I will read through them all in one shot. No talk, Tony. Tony B, there she is. Hello. Good to see ya. I burn, my freckles darken, the red of the burn and the brown of the freckles makes me vomit when I look at it. Well, that's unhealthy. Anything else happened while you slept? I don't think so, Maya. I don't think so. Artsy Tarsy talks about her being Mark Headley's twin. Okay. 
It's stuck in a trap that I have no idea how to get rid of or reset the trap. Okay, and I cannot help you there because I do not do traps like that. Was in Spain before the pandemic with one of my brothers and my sister's family. We came home as pale as we left. Everyone else on the plane had a tan. Yep. Yep. That's me. Weather up here will be dangerous with flash flooding in the desert. Yeah. Into every life, a little ass pain must fall. This is true. This too shall pass. It may pass like a kidney stone, but it will pass. Your sister is coming to take Corey shopping. I know. Aren't they the sweetest? They're a good gang. There are, there are like seven of them that show up regularly in the evenings. And God forbid we actually get a functioning doorbell. I am waiting for them to, because I've seen little hoofy prints on the porch. I'm waiting for one of them to walk up and try to figure out how to ring the doorbell. They're a mess. Goofy kids. Best fed deer in Hoth. You got that right, Ann Cassie. Yes. They are. We feed them well. We feel that feed them cracked corn. We feed them oily black sunflower seeds. Every once in a while, I'll go get a bag of Sweet 16 horse feed. And they, they really like that. It's got a little molasses in it, some oats, and they get very happy. Sometimes we give them apples. We, we have a good time with them. Time for a can of Coke and a toke. Cheers. Well, cheers to you, Smoke. Uh, Cricket's mom wants to, doesn't want to be a nocturnal soul. She's in bed now. She keeps telling me that she can't stay up anymore. She's got to go to bed. She's got to get to bed by 9 30, 10 o'clock. And then they find a series on Netflix. And then they have to binge the whole fucking thing. Three o'clock in the morning. They're finally shutting the TV off. I'm like, come on, guys. And I'm caught up. It's amazing. All right. So since I am caught up, let me go over to the starred. And let's do this because we need to. I've already taken mine, but some of you have not taken yours. So you know what it's time for. Night meds. Take your night meds. It's a modern pharmacology. Night meds. Time for night meds. They can help your physiology. Take them well before you go to sleep. They work while you're busy counting sheep. When you take your night meds, it's a happy, healthy snooze time. A snorry snooze time. You'll have a sleepy time. Night meds. And if you are taking them now and you weren't a doofus like me, remember to sip first so the melatonin doesn't stick. All right. Let's do this. Hef says, okay, so here's the story. Back in like 2008-ish, I entered into a long distance internet thing with a guy from Arizona. I'm in Ohio. He drove across the country to stay with me for a week. It was my birthday, so he took me out to a fancy Japanese restaurant. We immediately got a lot of funny looks. I assumed it was because he was very tall and a full head of gray hair. I was 30. He was 50. So I kind of expected those kinds of looks because of the age difference. What I hadn't thought of later 
being that he uh, was that he being tall, gray haired and a bit of a unique nose. And me being short, dark haired and chubby, there may have been another reason people stared at us so much. They weren't being discreet either. Whispers followed as well. We had a great week and he decided to tell me as he was driving home that he didn't think it would work out because he couldn't handle the judgment from others because of our age difference. And it hit me all at once. He looked a lot like Bill Clinton and I, well, I looked a lot like Monica Lewinsky back then. So yeah, that happened. Oh, also, I found out it was I was his last hurrah. He was married three months later. I don't regret it. He was great in bed and he spoiled me with gifts. <laughs> I wasn't heartbroken. It was hilarious to me. Sounds hilarious. And, you know, if he can't handle judgment from strangers, I am real, real glad that he uh, decided to call things off. All right, somebody just texted me. Please remind me. Oh, psycho baby kitty boba. Look at the baby. You guys. Look at the sweetheart. What a cute little void. I want to pet the babby. I wish to boop his snoot. He spent a lot of money on me to just to dump me via text. Via text he did. Oh, rude. Yeah, you're better off without him. Dang. Going to write a deer warning video now. We love the deers. All right. Who was it that just texted me a photo of herself? That was you, Deanna. Okay. Sort of like getting dumped with a post-it note, right? Right. All right. Now I've got you saved, Deanna. I think yours is probably one of the only numbers that I didn't save in my phone for whatever reason. Here's Deanna Downey with a real tan, not a fake one. Look at that smile. I love it. Nice lady. Okay, it looks like my visitor who now has my yard all tunneled up. Oh, yes. No Talk Tony has a whistle pig. Ocean, good night. Welcome and good night. Legend has it that Andrew Lloyd Webber... Divorced Sarah Brightman via fax. That's bonkers. Well, look at how cute he is, though, with his little ears. Look at that whistle pig. We do love a good whistle pig in these parts. Sorry, he's making your yard a bit challenging, but we do love the whistle pigs. Yes, we cannot forget that Trish is here. Trish is here and she's watching. Ooh, and you sent me more Octocams. Hell yes. I am all about that. That's that's what I need for soothing, calming, watching. Octopuses. 
Psych sauce to be right back. Got to make sure my mom is okay. Deanna is artsy's Rumi on the cruise. That is true. Mariana, hello. God Morgan, listening on double speed and just heard Woody Woodpecker's laugh. <laughs> You know who actually has Woody Woodpecker's laugh? Reese. Fight me. Whistle pig. A whistle pig is a groundhog. And Hummingbird got married in white leather. Cinderella's glass slipper. Hello. Good to see you. Octopuses are cool, Kimberly. I agree with you. They are very cool. Um... And now we all know what Deanna Downing looks like, which I think is fantastic. Because, again, what a fantastic smile on you. I love it. Or Hacky Hackspet. I don't know if the E is pronounced quite as much as I did, but that's funny. That's very funny, actually. Um... You missed the picture of Deanna? I'm sorry, Pamela. I can fix that. We've got her right here. This is Deanna about 10 years ago. Here she is. There you go, Pamela. I love it. Ah, and this is Diana Meter's grandniece. Look at this little potato. Cutie. You can't figure out how to be a member, Susie. There was a link. That you can, if you're on an iPad, Susie, you can put it in Safari. I don't know if I still have it in my clipboard. No, I don't think so. I think that's something else. Let me look. I'll grab it for you. And then you can open Safari. All you have to do is open Safari, Susie. And uh, put the link in, and you should be able to get it pretty easily. Do 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 do. Here he is. All right, Susie. Would you? Which one, the first one or the second one, Rick? Chrome, put the link in Chrome, Dawn Glove says. Am I a scuba diver? No, I wish I was. Uh, I have not yet become scuba certified, nor have I taken any of the classes that would get me there. Um, but I would, uh, I would like to be. I do love to snorkel, though. Quite a bit. I love it. I love getting my face in the water and paddling around and waving at all the fishies and watching them give me side eye and their fish so they don't really have a choice. They give everybody side eye. Um, but I love them. You only saw multiple deer in snow. There are, Chrome doesn't work as well for Apple products. They use Safari. I don't care which one you put it in, but that's the link. Um, there were two different photos, Rick Spicer. I will show you them again. There was this one. And this one. 
Which one would you like? One or two? Which is better? One or two? Side eye while snorkeling. Yes. Night meds are working. I'm out. Sleep tight. Hug someone. You too, sunshines. I hope that you sleep well. Chrome was the only way that Dawn Gloves could do it. Number two. Okay. You got it, young man. Your hubby is a scuba instructor and can help you out. Well, where are you, Pamela? Do, do, do. Let me write myself a note to remind me to do that. Send dear to Spicer. Okay. Janet G, I sent you a picture of my daughter with her wonder puppy, Stella. I do like a good wonder puppy. Oh, wow. That's Janet's daughter and Wonder Puppy. Stella. We love Stella. What a cutie bee. And Hummingbird has sent photos. What the? Okay, I don't know what that... Oh, it's the mouse in the trap. Yeah, I don't know that I can hang with that. SPTV Fanny, hello. Good to see you. We're in Centralia, Washington, which is halfway between Portland and Seattle, but we can figure out a better place to meet for scuba lessons. Yeah, because I imagine it's a little cold. SPTV Fanny, getting them out. And Anne, tell me who this is, hugging on all these babies. I'm going to not show the mousetrap photo if that's okay with you because I can't. But I would love to know who the uh, the person hugging on all those little kiddos are is. I did good enough, Mariana. Good. Good, good. I'm glad to know it. My three Vegas grandsons. So is that you, Anne, in the photo? You did send me a photo. Yes, and you, Anne Hummingbird. Okay, so... Here we have Anne and her three Vegas grandsons. Stella has a party ear. It flops over. That's nice. All right. Jen sent me a photo. Can I... Here we go. Son of a bitch. There we go. Want out? SPTV Foundation. She's been making shirts. That's what she's been doing. I love it. I love it. They look fantastic, Jen. 
And let me find this photo. Cold duck. I can't believe that shit still exists, but here it is. Little baby Davy of the Fate Space Navy. They're now 21, 18, and 13. Wow. Stupid time. Flying. Ridiculous. Deanna wants a shirt. Yep. Can't blame you. Those are pretty good. It looked like a happy day, Anne. Sure did. Ah. Artsy Tartsy wants to know, Jen, if you want to trade jewelry for a shirt. I like that. I love this barter system. It's delightful. Xenu Marlene, cheers to my chat and the barter system and a bunch of other good stuff and party ears. Well, there are 62 people in here that I can see. I saw 75 earlier, which was pretty amazing. Um, and uh, I think that's the most I've gotten on a solo live, honestly. And I should have spoken up then, but I was trying to get caught up with the chat. So here we go. Um, thank you for being here, of course. I appreciate you. If you like what you see, hit that like button, please. Please, please. It really helps. And uh, subscribe. Check to make sure that you're still subscribed, please, because YouTube be YouTubing. So, fuckery occurs. But, um, check to see if you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you would be so kind. And uh, tickle that bell, the notifications bell. If you select all, um then you will know every time my random ass decides to go online. And uh, I only know when my random ass is going live about five minutes ahead of when I actually do it. So if you want to be advised about it early, hit that bell. Click uh, select all. If you don't like what you're seeing here, you can hit the thumbs down. Not trying to tell you what to think. I do have memberships open now. I do have super chats open now. And if you need to get in touch with me, you want to send me photos of your adorable pets, companions, whomever, uh, or if you have questions or if you have answers, go ahead and drop me an email. The email is in the description box below. It's Chalyan Smut at gmail.com. No spaces in between those three words. Um, but I also have my PayPal down below and the Venmo that Denver Stevo made me get in case you want to support the channel in a way that YouTube doesn't eat 30% of. Cinderella's glass slipper smacked that like button into next week. We love to hear it. We really do. You know, Deanna, she does have cool bracelets. I have been wearing mine. Artsy Tartsy sent me some things uh, last week. And I have been wearing my SPTV bracelet that's pinku pinku with pretty sparklies on it. And she also sent me some really nifty uh, fridge magnets. And I have one of the coveted SPTV necklaces and a ring. So yeah, definitely. 
definitely. I appreciate the barter system. I love it when people have skills and goods that you can make. It, you know, it's it really is. It really is his fault. And I'm going to say it every time because Denver Stevo made me get the Venmo. I didn't have it before. All I had was uh, PayPal. And I had Zelle, which was working. And then the account that I was using Zelle with decided that they weren't going to support Zelle anymore, which is frustrating. But uh, Steve O made me browbeat me into getting a Venmo. And so I did. And now I have that. Do we get to hit the gong? Which gong, honey? Gong. I don't know what gong you mean, sweet pea. Y'all need to order up. She uses Swarovski. You know what? You only swapped out the V and the O. That's the only thing you need to do to get that spelled correctly. Simple mistake. Anyone can do it. Yep. And you can order up. You can order. She's got loads of really cool jewelry. She makes necklaces. She makes bracelets. Earrings, I think, too. She does all sorts of stuff. Um, and uh, I know that I think she's been putting some stuff up on her Facebook. Summer Savage was posting stuff. Um, Purple Groovy, I showed it, honey. Artsy Tartsy doesn't have a store, but the, uh, the email address that I just put in the chat over there, that's hers. So email her. And I think, like I said, I think she put some stuff up on Facebook. But I'm not sure because I'm bad at Facebook. I'm hardly ever on. You guys, I'm so backed up on Facebook. Shit. Oh, but I did play something um, because my friend hashtag not actually my kid hashtag but actually my kid sent me a remix of something that she had sent me before Ooh, smoke smoke sent us photos of the babies we love these kids jackson i think is the smaller hound and i don't remember the great dane's name oh my goodness look at these tall creatures look how tall oh no and then we have a sleepy basset and a sleepy kippen i think that's jackson there that's sleeping and I don't know what the Kippen's name is. Oh. Mm. Guys. I don't know if you're ready. I have two words for you. Baby Bassett. Are you ready? You, you need to sit down and look at the baby. The baby Bassett. The cat is named Felix and Jackson is your boy. Okay, good. I remembered that. Now, please refresh my memory on the name of your girl, your Dane.
Ah, uh, yes. And No Talk Tony, this is her newest grandson, the potato. He is now two months old. Sadie. Sadie is the name of the Dane. Okay. Sadie. So that's Tony's new grand potato. And Summer Savage just sent us her uh, photo of the bracelet that she got from Artsy. It's turquoise and greens and blues. And that's really pretty. So yeah, get in touch with Kelly. She's got a cubic ass load of jewelry that she makes and it's very pretty. And Susie Overholtz figured it out. Congratulations on becoming a member, Susie Overholtz. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, she does pretty work. So yeah, use the email address that I put in there and uh, get in touch with the girl. Oh, and now we have the first flower of the year, also from No Talk Tony. Look how pretty. Thank you so much, everybody. And, and thank you, Susie Oberholtz, for becoming a member. And I can't order it because she never emailed me. Okay, Anne, I'm thinking that Kelly needs to get in touch with you then. Potatoes. Anne. Do you have my email? Can you drop me an email that isn't through Facebook Messenger? Because I think she was asking me for an email address for you, and I don't have one. No, I didn't give her your email address, honey. I, I gave her how to find you on Facebook because I don't have your email address. I'm only in contact with you on Facebook. So, Anne, if you can drop a quick email to um, chowyunsmut, all one word, at gmail.com. It's also in the description box below. Um, just drop me a quick little email and I'll pass it on to Artsy Tartsy right away. Or you could just email Artsy Tartsy. That works too. And let's see, and I'm going to put her email address in the, oh, 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 okay. No, shut up. I'm going to put her email address in the chat. One more time. There you go. So then you can, uh, you can go right ahead and email her directly if you choose. And that way. That way you guys can be in direct contact. Avoid the middleman. Deal with less fuckery. Rock it out with your bad selves. And I know that Kimberly Gabaldon gave us one for the road. And I didn't star it and I don't feel like scrolling. So, Zena Marlene, y'all. I see... 69 people in here already. That's seven more than we're in here. Last time I looked, that's pretty awesome. Welcome, everybody. We're glad you're here. Thanks for hanging out with us in the uh, Denny's of the internet. Oh, here she is. Kimberly, I thought you were going to bed.
Zenu. Oh, 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 oh. Cheers, y'all. Next one's the sexy number. What, 70 is the sexy number? Okay. I think we're already at the sexy number, young man. So glad for this group. I've been looking forward to the group, this group all day. Well, we're glad to have you here, Pamela. We are. We are glad to have you here. I'm glad I, all of you are here. I I love it that y'all are here. Hanging out with me. Um, in basically the Denny's of the internet. Oh, Rick Spicer. Okay. Yours shows you do me and I'll owe you one. Um, yeah, we're basically the Denny's of the internet. We're Jay chilling in a corner booth. This broadcast is not sponsored by Denny's. I do not currently have a moons over my hammy or a side of hash browns or any pancakes. And I'm a little mad about it. Um, but I'm glad that you all are here because that's really what this conversation is like. It's just all of us sitting around BSing in a corner booth. Anyone use third party app StreamYard? Nice for group videos on YouTube. I'm not on StreamYard. I have, well, no, I technically I have a login on StreamYard, but I've never used it for my own lives. Um, Because it flips everything and it feels backward to me. Um, and I know if everything was flipped, then people would actually be able to read the things that I hold up to the screen, but you know, that's where I'm at. Well, mine shows 66 now, so who knows? Um, but yeah, I use Restream. That's, that's what I use. So we're just chilling in a diner in the corner booth, hanging out with our friends. It's like right around bar rush time, but we already got there early enough that we got all our food and all we need is the occasional coffee refill and we're just watching everything go by, talking shit about the occasional passersby. Now it's a village grill, okay, or a village inn or Denny's or Perkins or Embers or whatever turns you on. Any of those places. It could be the TikTok diner. It could be the state line diner. It could be any place. If it's open 24 hours and that's the place where the locals go at Bar Rush, that's where we are. That's where we are. And we're just hanging out. And I love it. Okay, let's start a road trip for No Talk Tony's house for pancakes and then load up on the maple syrup. Here we come. Yeah, we got to get somebody to, to, well, you know, they do make maple syrup here in Minnesota. The, but Vermont is really the shit for that stuff. I don't know. Ooh, can I order the chocolate chip pancakes with powdered sugar and whippy creamy? Yes, you can. Yes, you can, Cinderella's glass slipper. Yes, you can. And I think you should. I think it's... Uh, I think it's a moral imperative. Strawberries and whip, that works too. Heather McLaughlin. Dunkin' Donuts makes New England run. Yeah, but Dunkin' Donuts doesn't have a corner booth, Duchess Diana. That's the thing. Dunkin' Donuts used to have like an area where you could actually sit down in kind of a boothy sort of situation. And they don't anymore. They've got like a counter and some really uncomfortable stools. 
Inappropriate Heifer says, I'm making waffles. Blueberry pancakes are Tony's specialty. Very nice. Huskies Hefty Hookers. Nice. Nice. Bunch of lot, li lot lizards, I think is what they've been frequently called. Won't eat whipped cream unless it's whipped from heavy cream, so no cool whip for you. That's okay. Allergic to strawberries, so I'll ask for the chocolate. Y'all, get whatever you want in your pancakes. Or don't get pancakes. You could get waffles. You could get corned beef hash. And eggs. It looks like Alpo, but it's delicious. Duchess Diana loves homemade waffles. Do miss the all-night mom-and-pop cafes, cheap coffee, and late-night conversations. Yes. Yes, Smoke. Yes. 1,000% yes. That is pretty much how I spent all of my misspent youth. In a Perkins. Which is basically Denny's. It was just the Denny's equivalent here on Hoth. Because we don't have Denny's. Or IHOP. Or anything like that. But we had Perkins. And we also had, we used to have something called Louise Cafe. It was over the bridge in Superior. And uh, that place was amazing. I am so sad that it's not there anymore because that place was stinking amazing. And like you could get a chocolate chip pancake that was the size of the plate. It was huge. Slather that bitch with butter. Ugh. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I miss it terribly. It does. It does look like Alpo, doesn't it? Artsy Tartsy, you never went to get something to eat and your stomach is growling so much. Go get you some food. Get you a snack. Go on, girl. The Boston cream donut is just fine. Somebody remind me. For tomorrow night's stream, I will tell you the Boston cream donut story. Somebody remind me tomorrow for tomorrow night's stream. Because I may not remember. But if somebody reminds me, then I'll tell the story. We're a little late in the evening now. A little late in the show. Love my pancakes with butter. Peanut butter and syrup. You load them shits up with a side of crispy bacon and a big glass of milk. Well, okay then. I'll step out of your way. We talked you into the Grand Slam. Very nice. That's a good breakfast right there. You drove semi-trucks for 32 years. Loved small talk, middle of the night cafes. Fucking A right. Absolutely. Belgian waffles with strawberries and real, whip, real whipped cream. Blueberry pancakes for breakfast in a bit, says Rosa Lang. Okay. Good night, Anne Hummingbird. Sleep sweet, honeybee. Why are you crying? Oh, well, we love you right back, Anne Hummingbird. We sure do. And if you ever need proof of that, think of all of us getting on nurses' cases when you were in hospital. Lockdowns put many of the mom and pop shops under very sad. No, Louis Cafe was gone way before that. It wasn't because of the panini. It was because of other reasons. But there is a place over here now called Superior Waffles. 
I've only been there once. I might have to go back. It's been a minute. Pamela SP Butterfly sent me a picture of yummy French toast. Well, fucking A. I like French toast. Blue blueberry granola French toast. I had this at the maple counter in Walla Walla. I will say Walla Walla, Washington every single day of the world if I can. Y'all, would you look at that? That is ridiculous. That looks amazing. Thank you, Pamela, for sending that to me. So I guess what we're saying, flaming hot Jamaican jerk beef now, pancakes later. I actually am not into jerk seasoning. It doesn't do it for me, Rick. But you know what? Get it. I recall so many nights spent at Denny's with buddies during college. When I was growing up, we used to go to the truck stop restaurant and made massive bacon omelets that rocked my world. Nice. Thank you, Duchess Diana. If somebody could remind me tomorrow, that would be a little bit more helpful. But I appreciate you. Thank you. Mara just stopped in to say hi. Hi. My sister, George. Hello. Question. My hubby and I went on a motorcycle trip from the beginning of Highway 2 in Washington State all the way to Lake Superior. The port area is this close to where you are. Yes. Yes, it is. I don't know if there are diners in Miami, but there is a lot of good food in Miami. I like my French toast with lots of butter and powdered sugar, possibly chocolate chips as well. That's fair. There are probably good restaurants around, but we rarely go out. I typically now make better breakfast at home and they're cheaper. Eating out here is so pricey. I'm sure it is, Sarah. Your biscuits and gravy girl. Oh, you can you can talk to have for summer savage or somebody about that i'm not about that i don't like white gravy and i will say it i will say it i'm not ashamed white gravy looks like a whole lot of jizz with dryer lint in it and i don't want to put it in my face so y'all have fun with that. The people that enjoy it are welcome to do so. I will abstain. And that means more for you. Yeah, I see you have. Yes. Mm, I think you and Summer Savage at some point are going to have to have some kind of a white gravy cook-off. I'm not the only one. I am so happy to hear that I'm not the only one. That's amazing. I'm not sure what you're, oh my God, oh my God, oh my god about, but okay. Yep, y'all are twinsies. She loves her some white gravy. This is true. Summer Savage and I have had conversations about it. Yep, I said it. I said what I said. You heard me. I've been outside for this morning. I didn't like it. There was a weather. Ew, SP TV, or SP Fanny. I'm so sorry. Bleh. 
I'm so ready for my check. I'm ready for some groceries. After my roommate ate everything. Yes, I remember you hearing about that. That is a lot of bullshit. And I am sorry about it. And honestly, I would probably do really unpleasant things to sabotage him. All right, Kelly. I'm from Georgia, so give me a sausage, gravy, and biscuits, please. Y'all have fun with that. Pam, Summer, Hef, Heather McLaughlin, Kelly B69. Y'all can get together and rock that sausage gravy. You know what, though? If somebody's making some good biscuits, you need to let a bitch know. I am in for good biscuits. I am in for collard greens. I'm in for a lot of other Southern food. But please enjoy the sausage gravy all to yourselves. Please. Whoa. Ew. Anyway, y'all. I'm going to wind things down. Biscuits with butter and honey. Oh, Lord. Yes. We were just up in here the other night talking about the Whataburger uh, chicken biscuit with honey butter. Whew. That shit is some good. Good, 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 good. And Casillas is all for the biscuits and gravy. Okay. All right. Y'all talking about fried okra. I know that Reese is about fried okra too. Good night, Deanna Downey. Yeah, I'm going to wind things down. I'm running low on wine and I have to pee. And Well, we've been going for almost an hour 45. But I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, thank you for sharing your photos and your laughs and your breakfast orders. And um, honey butter on biscuits, that is. You had that like 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay, now I'm mildly envious. Bitch. Love you. I'm happy that y'all hung out with me. I'll be back here tomorrow. Same bug time, same bug channel. Please remember to email me if you have anything to discuss or you have questions or you have answers or you want to book your room on the cruise. There are still cabins available. And I love all y'all and I love spending this time with you. I hope that you rest well. I hope that you have a good day and um, I hope that you are safe. You stay safe. You stay warm. You sleep sweet. Peace to you.